On your internal LAN, you have three web servers that serves the same data. Now, when a client asks for that data using HTTP GET, you can actually load balance the request between the three web servers. How do you do it? You're using a load balancing virtual server. You can load balance the traffic based on different protocols, either HTTP or HTTPS, and you can use different load balancing algorithms such as weighted round robin or even one that has the least round trip time. So let's do it. Creating a load balancing virtual server is quite similar to creating a virtual IP, but this time we're creating a virtual server with different load balancing algorithm and from different types. So the first thing to do is to head over to system, feature visibility, load balance and apply. Once you do so, you will see that in policy and objects, you have a new virtual servers menu. Let's just create one. Let's name our new virtual server web server. The type will be HTTP, but you can also use HTTPS and other protocols. The interface is our WEN1. Now, the although it is virtual, it has to have an IP that you got from your ISP. The virtual server IP, let's just make that one 82.0.2.1. Remember an IP address that you got from your ISP. The virtual server port will be 8080. The load balancing method, now you can use different algorithms. If you want to treat the web servers equally, then just use round robin, but you can also use weighted. If you will use weighted, you will see that when you create a real server, you can actually add weight to the different servers, but we'll use round robin. Now, persistence, it's a good practice to use a cookie. If you're using e-commerce, do so. Let's just do so. And you can also actually create a health check the same way as you create a health check monitor to check different servers for route failure you can create a health check that will ping the different servers and get their round trip time and more parameters but we are not using health check now the next thing to do is to actually map the virtual server to our real server so let's just create a new server now that's the ip address of our servers in our lan interface so let's just use the 10.0.4.1 port will be port 80 and when you're using maximum connections uh, equal to zero that is limitless connections the mode should be active Okay, now let's create another web server that will be at the 10.0.4.7. Again, port 80, maximum connection 0, and active mode. All right, so we have two servers, two real servers, one virtual server that our clients will actually connect to from the outside, from the internet. And the next thing to do is to actually create a policy, a policy that will allow users to connect to our web servers. So we'll create new, let's name our policy. The policy, the name will be web server balance. Now the incoming interface is our when interface. The outgoing interface is our web server. Um, LAN interface. The source can be all. Now the destination. You need to move the inspection mode to proxy and from there just choose destination as our web server. Now it won't work if you will do it using the flow based inspection mode. Scheduling always. 
service all make sure that you are using net mode and dynamic ip pool now you can use any security profile over it and that's about it